attack. I attacked you. Wow. Just kidding. So this video is gonna be about Tantra attack. This is my... What is this species again? This is my Bachi Belma Apovirosum. This... Which is a confirmed female. Pretty big. I just, I'm just gonna push let her back. The, why do I own specifically only pick this as the intro? This is my only handable tarantula in my collection right now. Go back to your house, go back to your home. She did fix some hairs. I'm in my room, not my collection area. So I'm gonna info all right. Okay, so let's get started to the tarantula tag. Everything will be on my phone right here, all the questions. So, here's the questions. What got you interested in keeping tranchulas? I mean, in tranchulas. For me, curiosity wins all. <laughs> yep. There's, I have no friends that is, I have no friends that is interested in keeping tranchulas or they even knew about tranchulas. So, as for me, curiosity curiosity lead me into keeping tarantulas how and why curiosity wins all there's a reason and how does it lead to first i was interested in keeping beetles because they those horns are nice so i just got i just got away i just get just a beetle after i got my beetle suddenly i have a chill of for for tarantulas which, uh, which really leads me to keeping them. So I guess for me, the, my my answer for the first one is curiosity. That always wins over everything for me. Curiosity. Lead that and now's my second question. What was your first tarantulas? This is going to be a challenge. It's not that I don't have a first tarantula. Or I don't want to pick one is that when I got my tarantula I have three I have three of my tarantulas first one Bajipama Hamori Bajipama Spiti Bajima, Bajima Spiti which is now known as Hamori Bajipama Hamori X Smiti the other one is Chaco Golden Knee I forgot the scientific name I'm apo I apologize for I apologize for that and the other one is why what, what is it again? Bachibama Abobidosum. Not this one right here. That one I gave it away because some reason I, I gave it away. So if you tell me to pick between these three as my first, it's quite hard. But what was your first tarantula? My first, I only have a first, so I will pick Bachibama Hamori. Because when I got them, the first package that opened was my Bachi Pama Hamori's package. So I think that that would be my first. Second would be Bachi Pama, Bachi Pama, eh, me, Shaku Godoni. Gamostola Puchi Preps, I think, I think that's Brazilian Black, I don't know. I'm sorry if I spoke the wrong, <coughs> wrong scientific name for the specific Chonjuras. And third will be Ajima Abobidosum, this guy. But that one, but my original one had, and I gave it away. And third question is, what is your favorite species? Out of all the Chandra tech, tech videos that I've watched, most of them struggle with this little, with this question. What is it's your first? As I said, uh, my favorite and my first, I mean my, my favorite Panjuras. How can I explain this? At first, I was interested in in keeping those Panjuras that is that I can handle. My oh yeah, so let's, let's just go with that. With that, my favorite my favorite favorite species would be Bachibama Hamori because I love their red knee 
they are quite nice and docile. Even if they bite you, unless you have unless you are allergic to it, you won't you won't have any harm to you. And at first then and then if the reason why it is hard to pee is because I got let me let's say I finally got one of the one of one, one of the species that that's on my bucket list. This little Bajibama Abobidosum. I'm gonna add a pot for her. Suggest by Exotic Slayer because he wrote in my comments saying that to, to, toilet roll will will will, de, will not work due, due to it absorb water. So I'll add a pot inside. So this I'm gonna add in a pot. Next is once I get this tea, suddenly I've I think I get this like okay finally I got this. Scroll through my phone. So now so another species. And the next species that, that I'm planning to get is Nandu Chromatus. So this will keep going on and on and on. So it's hard to pick a specific favorite species. But if you tell me to overall pick the my really my most favorite one, I will be Bajama Homori. Because they're handable. Pretty nice. And they are quite could feed this one because the one that I got, I every, every time I chew roach, you instantly go and get the roach. So I will like that. So the fourth question is, what is your dream tarantula? My dream. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Let <coughs> me drink some water. Okay. So, what's my dream? Sorry. What's my dream tarantula? I would say Pasiotera Materica. I think I would like I would I think that is my dream tarantula because I saw some pics online which is which their coloration is very nice, their pattern is quite nice, but it costs quite high. For a mature female here I think costs about 400 to 500 bucks. So my budget is not that high for currently. But one of the reasons why it's my dream, but some will, some of you will say 400 and 500 bucks, that's not that pricey. But for me, my co my collection area, which right outside that door, is not that big. So I can hardly keep an arboreal species of chanchula there. I know that you guys can make a basic one, but I want to, I like to make, if I if I go for arboreal, I like to make that their yeah, enclosure, it's a semi-natural enclosure but with the effect plants but real but cocoa peat so it's like semi-natural oh sorry okay some uh how, how can i say this wait that one, never mind so that's uh i think my dream to do is special there my take because i like the ability to house a uh, arboreal species outside so until now i don't have a Arbor species. If I have an arbor species, I'll most likely to only have a one a one to two inch one to two inch juven juvies or or not as slings and just house them in a small container outside. After they go big enough, I'll, I'll probably just let them go. Not not let them go in the wild. It's like so sell them or give a, or just give away to someone else. So my new Confirm confirm answer. Pasiotera, Pasiotera Mudrika. Okay, five. How many tarantulas do you currently have? I think nine. I know that's I know that's a little bit, but I've, <laughs> for now it's nine. If I started YouTubing since last year, I should have twenty something. So and then now I just recently get back to the hobby. Don't ask why. I will explain it in future video. Like. If I get more subscribers, let's say 500, 500 subscribers, I'll, I'll explain why. So, I'm, I think I don't have 9, let me count. Bajima Abobidism, Bomi, Bomi, Bajima Bomi, Balfouri, Balfouri, Thailand Zebra, Cobalt Blue, and Solonia, City Cosmia, Javanesis. I think I'll. Oh yeah, also O O B T. Yeah, okay, four, nine. So I mean nine. So, I don't know what's happening to me. So I I have, I only have nine. 
tarantulas now, but I will have so add more tarantulas into my collection because as you know, this channel is is main is also talking about tarantulas, but I also have a, have other animals which will let no that that that's not like that, that, tarantulas. So okay, number six is so I have nine so I have nine tarantulas. Number six is introduce us to one tarantula. Introduce you guys to one tarantula. I think I did it in the beginning. In the beginning, I mean in the in the beginning in the in the beginning of the video. This my chipama album will be awesome. If you guys are not satisfied with this, I think I have no other tarantulas that I can introduce right now because I not that I don't introduce not that I don't introduce because. This is right here, easier to take. So I'll introduce you guys to this. Rachi Rama Abu Budosum. No name yet. I have not I'm I'm not named her yet. So number seven. Feed one tarantula. Let's get to that. Okay, hi. So I'm gonna feed this little baby here. Oh my god. Okay. It's quite hard open. So I know I I know I definitely know that she is very hungry. As you can see, that that's what that, that's what I'm gonna change. No 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 go in first. Do not go in. Do not escape. So if I can see the bush is right there. Oh, as you can see, that's a really really good takedown right there. So at this, I guess this answer answer. Your question, yes, is a really nice. So that was a really, really, really epic feeding clip. Because as you can see, Jesus, there. If that, if I will, I were to be crazy enough to hand feed, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lose this. Not lose. I think this, this is gonna be extra large by tomorrow, or probably my thumb. So. She's there. As you can see, really nice. This is my this is my ember for ember for it. I'm gonna have a really nice. See, okay. So I guess this will answer my question. Let's get back into the room. Okay. So that is really cool, right? Just now that feeding clip. Let's next lead to the next question. Fit one tarantula done. Number seven done. Number eight. What is your favorite tarantula channel on YouTube? For me, I'll say the the first definitely will be the be the dark den, because when I started keeping tarantulas, them, I I search on YouTube for them. The cash sheets has been doing. And all the feeding clips. The first video I, the first Chanchula video that I watched was from the Duck Den. He, by watching his video, he he rarely he only have tutor. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, the Duck Den only have tutorials for re building a new enclosure or make it or set or setting up an enclosure or building a new acrylic enclosure or do, by doing his projects for him for his Chanchulas. But by the way, by the way that he what waters his tarantulas feed and showing that showing his tarantula enclosures, he is somehow telling us how to perfectly care for our tarantulas. So thanks to him, I started to make those enclosures, including this. So that that would be my most favorite. What's your most favorite? Not my most favorite, but my favorite tarantula channel. No, second is Exotic Slayer. Why? Because his clips are funny. I I will say that he's funny because he only film by using one hand. Means he only have one hand, one other hand free to do all to do all his stuff. And that's one thing I really like about his videos are. He usually do not use tweezers. I've no, I've no tweezers in my room. 
you usually that's how you use tweezers, but I'm like how to say, I'm packaging a tarantula. Oh, he only a camera, book open and use his hand to open all the tissue rolls and like that. So unless it's very dangerous tarantula, he will use his hand. So that is what I that so his clips are funny. So I think this is the most two. The two the two channels that I will say that I like favorite. So let's lead to the next is. Do you have any other exotic animal or reptiles? Of course, if you guys watch my other video, definitely you guys will know. But I was still gonna do it. Meet you guys outside at my collection area again. Other one is my beetle, Tokus titanus beetle. Next off, my Pac-Man frog. As you can see, he is shedding. He is shedding right now. Next, my ants, which doesn't have a name yet. I'm still thinking a name for them. The queen is right there, as you can see. So next, my Cremadogaster colony. It's a uh, upper ant, also known as acrobat ants. Trying to have a zoom in, I will show you guys where they are. They are not active right now. Oh, there, there, there they are. I also have a man. I also have a not mantis. I also have a what can I say? A millipede in here, which is camp, which I can found. I can can be seen right now. So let's see if I can get them. No, I can get them. It's, they are behind this log right here. Not log lah, like, a branch. So this is my criminal gaster colony. The star of my channel, my mantis, dead leaf mantis. Some of my friends told me that it's a female. I also hope that it's a female. My scorpions. I fall in here. They are Matumbutus Matensi. Let me see if I can get them. As you can see, they are they are all right here. Matumbutus Matensi. Scorpions. And the roots is right there. Still alive, I can guarantee. I can say that. Okay. My other beetles. As you can see one 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 is popping out of the soil. And there are three more down there. My Camponotus albosparus colony in this formicarium from Ants Malaysia. Black crazy ant, tree queen colony, BCA, black crazy ant colony. My Diacanma ants, the bullet ants of Asia. This, their nest is in here. This is their nest, it's right here. So the nest is going through here. So they are so since this is their underground, so I'm not gonna try to get them out. And they just dispose a roach body right here. So I guess they doesn't want it. My fragile, just just kidding. My founding queens. See this is this is four four queens Fedoli colony as you can see those four queens are inside doing well. Which I just mix them in the next week. up. Last video, yes, last video about my new additions. Tetra Bonera, lay some eggs now, it become brutes already. My Iridomyrex colony. Also, my Golden State Warriors. Because this is the first queen I caught. And also, they are irritant, so their workers will be yellowish, like that just now. The ones that are above there. Focus, 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 everyone. So they are golden colors, so I'll, I'll tell them golden. They will, they are calling you with golden state warriors. Oh my god, it's so hard to open. Let's go open this, if I can spot them. Nope, I might have to open this. Wait, legs. Okay. So this is Roach Chow. The crits. As you can see, they're right there. Madagascar, he's saying Roach. Put this all back in. Lastly, also, uh, also, uh, how to say it? this is a Madagascar English draw species colony. You can see they, they are bees. This one just recently hatched, like about one day ago or 20 hours ago. This is all their babies right here. Cute. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they jump. So this is one more gravid female. Let's see if I can get him. She hasn't 
she hasn't laid her yes yet so i'm expecting more will appear so i this i'm i cover this in, a, in another video which i didn't upload it i will upload it af after this video now three is tried thirsty so i guess this is all my other exotics pets animal if i'm not mistaken i think i cover all yep that's all my collection right there the last part which i which i said the roach for me they're exotics because they are medical testing roach they are, they are feeders but for me they are pets unless they reproduct just now like my dog species medical testing roach that i will use some for feeding so lastly i think i'm the night this is the last question which last question ask me to text someone else but i can't right now so not that i can't say no it's like i can't find the channel yet so last is oh yeah i message tarantula cat she replied saying that never mind she will change the question to the time question will become if you could breed any tarantula species what would it be i will breed this species will you come outside now Ooh, aren't you a pretty? Ooh. Hmm. Got it? I will breed that because some reason why. Good eaters. Very nice coloration. Grows pretty fast in some in a specific condition. No specific condition, it's like they are really really fast growers. I feel like that is the fastest growing species in the bubbling family yes orange bubbling tarantula black black color form or ultra color form i forgot F B C F or ucf i don't know you guys tend to tell me this so i guess <coughs> sorry <coughs> so i guess that covers up the tarantula tech video one to ten. Let's see if I if, if I miss any. I feel like I I will not miss any because there's numbers there. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Know more about this channel. Please hit, please put a thumbs up. Feel free to like with a thumbs up. Why do I you keep repeating that? Must subscribe. Uh, yes, must subscribe. And I will put those that I mentioned in this video. Not I mentioned the video. It's like the one who started this Shantula cat. I will link I will link her I will link her channel to the in the description and also the dark land. Thanks for lending me the black color form orange bubble chula.